What's up and welcome back to Fights in Tight Spaces. In last part, we did the first half of this section right here. And in this part, we're gonna go ahead and finish this section off. I'm not sure how many sections there are. I'm thinking I might take this event and then go to the dumpster alley. That way we can hit the medical before we go ahead and jump into this boss fight. So I think that's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and jump into this event and see what happens. Your suspect is escaping on a motorbike. Steal one yourself and follow suit. So we're gonna have to steal? I don't think we're allowed to do that. I thought we were good guys. Why not? How hard can it be? 66% chance to add a random card. 33% chance to lose eight health. Ooh, no, I don't like those odds. Let's just call the cops and hope they can track him down. He's long gone, another lead lost. Well, that's the cops job. They should be able to handle that, track him down. But let's go ahead and head into this dumpster alley. Try to get some money this way. I think we have to do it in a certain amount of turns. I'm about to put somebody in that dumpster. Oh, look at these guys. They got some cool kicks though, I'll, I'll say that. All right, so I think this would be a good place for my face cam. I don't think it's in the way of anything. Uh, we can see all the cards and the descriptions as well. So hopefully it turns out pretty good. But let's see what the deal is with these green guys. We got some ninjas here. Rank and file on the Jade Staff. What the heck does that mean? Kick deals 12 damage up to three tiles away. Ooh, okay. Oh, they some heavy kickers. Okay, I see y'all. What y'all health looking like? 32? Eh, not bad. Okay, so this one right here is kicking me. Oh no, this one's kicking me too. Let's see. What are we gonna do? All right, go ahead and slip. And then, how much is this kick doing? It's doing 12. I don't know if I really wanna take some damage. I think we'll take four damage with the counter. So let's go ahead and that's going to push. I say we go ahead and hit a heavy strike. And then I feel like we might have to use our emergency move here. Because we're going to get tagged. Let's just go ahead and do that. Did a little bit of damage this turn. Oh, that's actually a pretty good placement on all three of their parts. But let's see. So, on taunt, it will force the enemy to attack, and they will not attack on their turn. So we can go ahead and taunt the ninja on the very bottom, and then move backwards, and we won't have to worry about them. I think that might be the play. Long strike. Let's do a long strike. Ooh, right his nose. And then we'll do the quick strike. We'll go ahead and finish him. Oh, no, quick strike is freaking... It has to be right in front of him. Dang it. All right, well, we'll have to go ahead and hit him with this then. That roundhouse fist. And then we'll taunt this one. He ain't gonna hit nothing. And then we'll move back. Oh wait, we're still getting hit somehow. Oh, cause this dude is still hitting us. Okay, roll back. Yeah, redo, redo. I had, it was a good idea, but I wasn't fully thinking. Well, I think our best bet is to take out the dude that we're facing. I think that's probably the best thing to do then. So we'll go ahead and move forward. Hit you with that, and then quick strike. Finish him off. There we go. There we go. Thank goodness for them rollbacks. And we got more ninjas jumping in. Let's see. What can we do? Quick block. We can step. I don't have any ranged attacks. 
let's just go ahead and step down. And there's nothing I can do unless we're going to punch air. Yeah, I feel like now we're going to take some damage here. We can shift. Unless I can take one out, but I don't think I have enough to take any of them out. Well, he's, they're only doing 12 damage, so I can go ahead and block. I'll probably only lose 2 damage. Let's go ahead and do a step back. And... Should I, maybe I should push this one farther back. That way he'll have more distance to travel next turn. Get over there. Give me some space. Never heard of personal space ninja? And then we'll just go ahead and block here. We'll lose two damage, but yeah, there's nothing really else I can do here. Dang, kick me in the back of the head. Alright, alright. Quick block. I don't have no... Oh, I got dash. Okay. I say I ain't got no movement cards. What the heck? All right, so we'll go ahead and come up here. We will long strike. Hit you. Hit him again, and then we we'll go ahead and throw him. Get on the ground, ninja. And let's end our turn. Okay, well, yeah, we can probably finish this guy off. Yeah, we can finish this dude. Maybe. Huh. If only I had a range attack. All right, but I got an idea. Check this out. Check this out. So we'll go ahead and step to the side, right? And then we'll taunt him. Come on! Boom! <laughs> Take your homie out for me. Thank you. And now he came forward. And now we can go ahead and jab the dude on the side of the head. And also quick strike him. Ooh. That's some pro strats. Oh, we ain't done. We are not done. We about to quick kick him. Get over there. I don't know if his homie's going to kick him. But we just that was a pretty smart round right there. Oh, and his homie took him out. So he took out his homie, and he took out his homie. <laughs> I like that. I like that. All right. We're using our noggin up in here. Okay. It feels so satisfying when you can get one of your enemies to take out their own. Feels good. But well, let's see. What are we going to do? I can go ahead and do block and counter. That'll give me 18 block. He's hitting for 12. I think I might do that. But I feel like I want to get a little bit closer. Well, he's actually going to come forward since he's going to do that kick. I was going to try to use a heavy strike, but we don't have enough momentum. I was going to slip up one heavy strike and then counter and block, but we only have enough to do three things so let's just go ahead and counter and block and he'll come forward nope counter as a ninja you see the seat you should have seen that coming so let's go ahead and quick strike and we're going to toe toe now and let's go ahead and throw him get on the ground lucky i can't stomp you out there's probably a car. Throw him down. Once you're on the ground, stomp him out. Yeah, that'll be fire. We got a bunch of combo. 24 damage? Oh, you out of there. You are out of there. Ooh. Out of there. Dang, just imagine getting up and then getting roundhouse kicked. Man, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do these replays, though. I'll probably only do, like... I probably won't do the whole replay, but I'll probably do like the best parts. I think that'll probably be a good way to do it. But we get a new card. 
take less than 10 damage. Plus two max health? Give me that. We Unfortunately, we couldn't do it in, in under six turns for the money, but I'm cool with two plus max health. I like that. And let's see what our reward is. Power through, retain unused block for three turns. I like that. That's actually what's up. We can get another dash. I think maybe we should maybe get another one just to be safe because movement's pretty, pretty important. And then we are where we at now. So we're going to medical and we can heal. I mean, yeah, I probably think we should probably heal. Um, I, mean, I really don't want to spend $40 though, but I feel like we need to do that. That's cool how you can pay money to increase your max health, but that's a lot of money. Let's go ahead and get a full health, a full health bar, because I'm not sure what to expect from the boss here. So let's go ahead and jump into the pub. Let's see what they talking about. What the heck are you? Track player movement. Enemies that track your movement will turn to face you when you move during your turn. What? Enemies with summon abilities will periodically add new enemies to the fight. Why they have that ability? That ain't cool. Summon minions do not count towards levels objective, but killing them will get you a higher score. I don't care about no score. I'm just trying to survive. What the heck? You can identify them by the icon. That icon. Okay, so they can summon new enemies? What the heck kind of crap is that? I don't want them summoning nothing. So we got biker boss here. Boss of the boss of the death's head biker gang. He got a big strike. Deals 16 damage up to two tiles away. 16 damage, that's a lot of damage. And he has the ability will face will turn to face you. Okay, so we can't hit him in the side of the head. So we're gonna have to figure out something here. But I'm confident that we can get it started. I'm confident that we can do something. I'm already seeing something. So we'll go ahead, we'll step here. Wait, oh dang, did I mess that up? Oh yeah, never mind. Redo, roll back. I missed that. I thought the shift was something else. Okay. Um. Hmm. All right. Let's just start doing some damage on these Barneys. Let's go ahead and use a heavy strike. I think, well, a heavy strike would actually clap one. Let's clap you. Oh no! I keep I keep getting their attack and their and their HP mixed up. Okay, so it wasn't gonna clap him. I thought he only had 12 HP, that's his attack. Okay, at least we're out of range from that dude with the gun next to that Santa Claus. There's really nothing else I can do, so let's go ahead and let's just get out the way. All right, we good, we good for now. Okay, let's see, quick strike. Shoot a quick strike, hit him with a jab. And then I'm gonna go ahead and slip. Get up out of there. Santa Claus isn't coming close to, to us, so. I guess that's pretty good. I ain't gotta worry about him right now. Let's see, can I hit smash this dude? Yep. Go ahead and select a new muse a new track for us. And then this guy. I can I should probably just get out the way. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get out the way. Okay, 
Okay. Hit him with a front kick and a hammer fist, and then get out the way. Actually, oh yeah, he'll still have one health left. Actually, if we use a hammer fist first, and then we use the front kick, that should kill because we're gonna do the six damage and he's gonna get pushed into that table. So he should be out of there. Bye, bitch! Yeah. Look at him just dangling. He out of there. All right, so I should be able to throw big boy here. I don't think he's a heavy target. Let's get a little closer to him. Oh, he's keeping his distance. And he also has question marks. So he's about to summon two thug reinforcements. Okay. That might be an opportunity to attack him. I don't think I have... If I go here... Yeah, I don't think I have enough range. I mean, I can use the, the emergency move, but how can we use that once a turn, or once a match. Does he have armor? All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Just so we can get some damage in on this guy. And we'll use a front kick too, and I'll push him. Push him against the wall. Oh, I didn't realize that it actually makes us go forward too. I need to start Paying attention to that more. All right, so he summoned some more thugs. I'm not too worried though. Let's see. Up to two tiles away. He's not attacking us. Hmm. Seems like no matter what, we're probably gonna take a hit here, but we don't wanna take a hit from Big Boy over there. So I think we just go ahead and focus on this dude. Won't be able to finish him, but we're just gonna have to eat eight damage because there's nothing else I can do. Wait, hold on. Okay, never mind. I thought I'd seen something. Wait, hold on. Is he still attack? Dang it! I pushed the wrong button. No! I pushed the wrong freaking button. Oh my goodness. Can I roll that back? Oh my. I pushed the wrong button. Oh my goodness, man. Alright. It is what it is. I was trying to see what his attack range was. I swear, if I lose because of that, that's trash. All right, let's see. Well, Big Boy's going to attack two tiles away, right? So he should do damage on this guy. So if I just go ahead and... I don't think that would kill him, though. He's doing 16, yeah, he'll still have six health left, but we might be able to finish him next turn. So let's just go down here. We'll heavy strike this one. And then we'll go ahead and throw him down too. We gotta worry about him next turn. Go ahead and take a nap. Yep. Oh, he hits him too, okay, okay. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. And if only, had, only if I had shift, that would be nice right here. So I go ahead and slip. Don't want to slip next to big boy because he's just going to turn and face us. Slip costs one. So let's go ahead and head smash this one right here. Go ahead and get a closer look at that table for me, buddy. We'll slip down here. 
We'll hit him with that hammer fist. And we'll end the turn. All right. So we'll go ahead and shift. Right behind you, buddy. Push him right in front of dude. And then go ahead and taunt. Take him out for me, buddy. And you know how how mad you have to be when somebody to taunt you and then you take out your own dude? Like, man. Alright, looks like maybe once you take out all his all his people. That's when he's gonna summon some more. So I think that's our chance to go ahead and do some mad damage on dude. So let's go ahead and do a quick kick because it'll push him back and do some extra damage. All right, all right, so he has 28. Yeah, I wasn't completing this in under eight turns. I'm, I'm not no pro like that. See, I'm pushing the wrong buttons. So, I say we should get a couple hits in on this dude here. And then we should be able to throw him. There's no indication that we can't throw him. I think it said it's like a heavy target or something. I know he big, but he ain't that big for me to throw. So, let's go ahead and get a quick strike in. And dang, I wish I had one more combo. But let's go ahead and throw, dude. We might be able to finish him next turn depending on the cards that we get. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Nah, we'll stay here. I think we're fine. Let's see. Yeah, he out of there. Lay that down. Good. I'm glad I was still able to complete that after having that Ricky mistake. Alright, so it looks like we get a new enhancement. Whatever that is. And fortunately, we couldn't do it within eight turns. So hopefully my skills will be able to get to that point where I can do these matches in a set amount of turns. But right now, I'm just worried. I'm just focused on making sure we survive and we just have some fun. You know what I'm saying? But it looks like we get like a new perk or whatever. Reduce the cost of card removal by 20. Lose three health every turn, but restore health to maximum at the end of every fight. Uh huh. That's not too bad. Increase card draw by one. I like that. I think we're doing that. Increase our card draw. Yeah, give me that. We got an achievement. Complete the Death Heads Biker Gang. Good work, Agent 11. You disrupted a large part of the Death's Head infrastructure. It was nothing. What's next on the agenda? Well, take a look. All right, we're going to the Insiders. Okay, what they got up inside there? We need you to go undercover in a high security prison. I gotta wear an orange jumpsuit? You gonna, you gonna sneak me in a shank? I'm afraid orange isn't my color. I agree. Let's let's just stick to black. We, we like that. Don't worry. We're sending you in as a lawyer. What do you do after that is up to you. We need you to get inside and break down the lines of communication. Okay, so we're going to sell 2B. Okay, as long as it's not D-Block, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I know what they be going I know what be going on down there, and I'm not with it. But yeah, let's go ahead and do a couple more fights because I'm having, I'm actually having a lot of fun playing this game. Well, I can't wait to get to that, that country yard or courtyard, play some basketball, throw some, throw some basketballs at a Barney. But let's go ahead and go to 2B. Our health is still low, so we're still, we're still suffering from that Ricky mistake. But hopefully we can get to medical without a problem. I'm sure, there's going to be some Barneys up here with shanks and... All kinds of weird stuff. Yep, I think I see one with a shank right now. 
damage per turn. Some enemies get more powerful the longer the fight goes on, boosting their damage every turn. Kill them quickly to prevent getting overwhelmed. That's what's up. But you know what I haven't seen in a while is uh, those hazards. I haven't seen no hazards. I can kick a Barney out of something. But dude has a shank. All right, Shiv deals 10 damage, ignores a block. Yeah, Shiv would definitely do that. Deals 10 damage, boost damage, gain one plus damage modifier for every turn alive. All right, that's the prisoners, okay. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do here. Go ahead and jab this Barney. Go ahead and quick kick, create some distance. And then we'll go ahead and long strike him. All right. And they're only doing one, one range. You only have one range. Cool, cool, cool. Should I step back? Yeah, let's, let's create a little bit of distance. We don't want to get in the corner. I know what they be doing. I ain't with that. Okay. I like this. First, we're gonna heavy strike you. And then we're going to shift. Hey, buddy. And push you in front of that dude with the shiv. You about to get slashed. I'm actually gonna actually gonna kill him because we got the hammer fist and with the shiv that should kill ooh right on the side we'll go ahead and quick strike this barney here and then Let's slip, slip over here. Say hello to the floor for me, buddy. And let's go ahead and dash over here. Okay, let's see, we got three turns. I feel like we can do that. He has 23. Hit smash you. They all have only one range, right? Yeah, it looks like they're only attacking one range. Okay, I think we can do that. I think we can do this in three turns. He's seven. We can do a heavy strike. Yeah, we can do it. Go ahead and heavy strike this dude. He out of there. Somebody call a nurse. And then we'll go ahead and long strike. And I think, I think that's good. I think if I would have front kicked him, that would actually killed. But I think we're good. They're low on health. I think we could do it in three turns. I think we got this. Get some money. Go ahead and jab you, get you out of there. How much health you got? Eight? Throw does six. Oh, we can actually hammer fist him and then throw him. And then he out of there. He gonna be on the ground, but he gonna stay there. He ain't getting up. Noish, noish. Nice, we got that bonus objective. We got $30. Let's see what card we're gonna get. Ooh, a stun dart? Deal six damage, deal one stun when the target has no block. Two range. Ooh, stun dart? Got the little Zulu dart. All right, I, I, might have to, I might have to pick that up. I know I should probably be skipping cards to keep my deck low, but these cards just seem so cool to use. 
this card one card draw two cards that can be helpful move up to two tiles this card if not played at the first as the first card in a turn standard i had to test that joint out i have to okay i wonder is there a way to view those rewards on the mission detail like it looks like you get a new card you get some money and it looks like the combo icon so maybe max combo maybe but i don't know but let's go ahead and go to the shower oh crap i really don't want to go to the shower block but we need to get to medical so i, I don't really want to go to the shower right now but crap I'm gonna have to they better have clothes on I, i'm not playing i'll turn this game off right now oh we got some hazards oh, what the heck we got swat when oh, they got some ak-47s which are is that a shotgun is that a riot shotgun oh heck nah shotgun prisoner what the heck is a prisoner doing with a shotgun oh heck nah Gain eight block at the start of each turn? I don't like these guys. I don't like those. Do I have taunt? Dang, if only I had taunt, I would have had that Barney back there shoot the prisoner. Let's see. And we got somebody coming in too. So it's only two tiles away, so I can actually move back. I move forward. And we'll be good. But I say we do some damage. Oh, no, we can't. We don't have the range. No worries, then. We'll just go ahead and shift here. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, buddy, you shouldn't have stayed there. You shouldn't stay there. Dang, of course I don't have no push. Of course. Of course I don't have push. I was ready to kick that Barney outside. Let's go ahead and hit smash you. Danger! Danger! Make sure we have enough to to get out the way. Go ahead and quick strike. Maybe I should have did some damage on the shotgun guy. Let's go ahead and get out the way. And we're good. Man, I do lucky I didn't have no push. All right, we got the stun dart. Oh, now I get a push, of course. It'd have been nice to get a taunt too. Let's see, should I stun? We have counter. Well then, go ahead and do this. Go ahead and push, dude. I probably, should, dang it. I probably should have hit him. Oh, well, no, we got some ranged cards. We got some ranged cards. They don't push, though. Whee! Oh, maybe it did push. <laughs> he was out of there. Oh, man, I didn't know that pushed. Oh, crap. All right, he out of there. All right, there's nothing else we can do. Oh, he still shot, dude, okay. Who's that guy? What's this dude's deal? Tattooed guy, a dangerous adversary who can move up to three tiles per turn. Deals 10 damage, 10 tiles away. If target has no block, they receive a random injury card. Ooh, dang. This tattoo guy is no joke. He was at the tattoo parlor in part one. But let's see what we're gonna do here. What are we going to do? Oh, I already know what we're going to do. I have to. 
had to do it. Get out of here. Had to do that joint. And then, let's go down here and do some damage on this guy. Okay, you can block all you want to. I'm gonna do some damage. And if I taunt, he won't be able to do next nothing next turn. I'm about to say if he's still able to shoot the shut the tattoo guy, I'll be fire. Okay, what are we going to do now? Oh, if we if we can actually reach five combo. We can get money. Okay, it's not. I guess it's not every time that you have to do it in a certain amount of turn. Okay. So like to build combo, you can use any card. Or I'm not, I don't. I gotta research on how to build up combo again because I don't remember. But we're gonna go ahead and use a dart. Hey, we got the combo though. Let's see. Go ahead and slip. Heavy strike. And then we'll go ahead and throw, dude. He should be out of there next turn. Okay. Shift. Oh yeah, I like this. So he's going to, oh yeah, push him. Get over there. So tattoo guy is going to hit Mr. Shotgun guy and shotgun guy will shoot back. Oh no, tattoo guy is actually going to kill shotgun guy. All right, no worries. I want to see that. Ouchies. Ooh, with a headbutt. Knocked his helmet off. Ouchies. Okay. So, like, if I quick kick and push him, will he, will he back up into the tattoo guy and do damage to both of them? Yeah. Okay, okay. I like that. What's his health? 20? I mean, we can go ahead and finish, dude. Takes three combo. Oh, out of there. Front kick. Let's get a tattoo guy. I ain't going out that easy, buddy. I mean, messed up. Let's see. Come on, tattoo guy. What's good? Toe to toe. What you gonna do? What's your hell looking like? Oh, you out of there, buddy. Oh, no, I can't hit smash him. He's not in front of nothing. No worries, though. We can hammer fist. And then tattoo guy. Take a nap. I know you're tired and exhausted from getting all those tattoos. And then just to add salt to injury, I'm going to taunt you. Ah, uh, you like I can't taunt while you're on the ground. Okay. Heavy strike. Yeah, let's go ahead and what's his health? Oh, it's he only has two. Oh, he out of there. Get out of there. All right, let's see. We got this turn. We completed the extra objective, so that's what's up. Reach five combo. That's what's up. Got thirty dollars. Select reward. Delay gratification. This is a special card. What's a special card? Gain two momentum at the start of your next turn. Ooh, that could be helpful. If combo is over five, gain three combo. Hmm. We don't really have too many cards that use combo. I think we only got like one. Yeah, we got our combo, combo finisher. We don't really have anything else that uses combo. So I don't really think we need to worry about that too much. 
and we have a big block that blockity block adds 22 block i'm thinking this i think that would be good but this block would be nice too but i think maybe we should skip a card Two, three, four, five. we got 5 10 15 20 we got 21 cards i don't think that that's bad i don't think that that's too bad but a big block probably will come in handy so let's let's grab that let's grab big block and we can hit up this medical because we definitely need to restore our health look we got some money so let's go ahead increase so like if i use max health we probably only we will only recover four health points with this much as i love to do that but let's go ahead and just heal oh it gets more expensive each time that's trash it's like you really need to make sure you do those extra extra objectives now we can get some money all right so let's go ahead and head to the exercise yard looks like the reward is money and i'm guessing that's a new card icon i think that's what that is yeah that's what that is so let's go ahead and do that. Let's get our exercise on. Throw some dumbbells at a Barney. Oh, they got a basketball hoop right there. Was that a chef? Combo attack. Enemies with combo attacks hit you multiple times during a single attack. If you have dodge, this means that you will only be able to dodge one of the multiple attacks. Damage modifiers apply to each of the multiple attacks. Health support. Some enemies can heal themselves and their allies. If you prevent them from acting during their turn, for example, by stunning or throwing them, that ability will no longer trigger. So I'm guessing the chef, the chef, Chef Ramsey here, is one of the support mofos. And that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, he's a prison chef. You got that good food. Deals six damage three times. Okay, okay. We can get out of this. We need to complete the fight in seven turns to get some money. Can we do that? Probably not. But we'll try. So, dude should shoot the chef. And the chef's gonna be really mad. He ain't gonna make him no pizza later. Because I heard he's really good at making pizza. So, let's kick you into that bar. And then quick strike. And then we'll just get out the way. Let shotgun dude shoot the chef. Oh, I could have jabbed too. Mm. He shot the chef. But he didn't shoot the deputy. <laughs> auto attack. Enemies with auto attack attack you and anyone else the moment you step into their range of attack. They are indicated with this icon. Be careful. Even once they have used their auto attack, enemies may still be able to attack normally on their turn. Roger that. What does this do? We got a baton? armored prisoner he got a nightstick and he's an auto attacker and he gains eight block at the start of each turn when they do that these auto blocks makes it really hard for me to complete the extra objective of knocking these dudes out in a certain amount of turns let's see what we're gonna do here let's go ahead and shift Then can I head smash him into his homie? Oh, that would have been dope. He just let you do that. Might be a card for that. And then let's go ahead and just hammer fist. And that's about all I can do. I feel like maybe I should create some distance though. I feel like I should definitely do that.
Okay. Let's go ahead and go ahead and push him into the chef. Get four damage on all of them, on both of them. We'll hit him with a heavy strike. A long strike. Oh, he out of there. And we good. So I wonder if I like, huh. Like if I were to move right there and he moved up, will he attack automatically? I don't know. But I mean, I guess we'll just stay here for now. I don't think their block stacks, so that's good. Okay, yeah, their block doesn't stack. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Go ahead and move over here. And hit you with a hammer fist. Get over there. Say what's up to the chef for me. Aw, oh, crap. The chef is feeding them pizza. Need to get rid of that dude. Okay, so that answers my question. So if he moves forward and we're in his auto attack, he's not going to attack. But if we attack him, will that trigger it? That's another question. I don't know. But I will shift past you though, buddy. Wait, did he have auto look? Ah, oh, he has the auto look. How much health you got? Ah, oh, crap. All right, yeah, we may definitely have to get up out of here. We have to use that emergency move. Oh no, we got slip. We got slip. I'm about to get one quick one in. Get one quick in on him. Actually, we're gonna do damage on him because he keeps healing people. So let's get a couple quick hits in on him. Oh, he out of there. I know he's gonna be out of there. Go ahead and slip. All right, we got one of the dudes with the shivs. We got a shiv meister. Let's hit smash you. Give you a headache. Oh, dude hit me in the back of the head with a nice stick. Gave me a headache. Okay, so I guess even if we act in his range, he's still going to hit us. Okay, that's good to know. I know he's gonna give us a headache. I blame you. Get out of here. Let's go ahead and step. Let, oh wait, hold on. If I attack him, he's going to retaliate. Well, he can't retaliate if he's on the ground. And then we will throw a Zulu dart at him. Oh, he has a block. Oh crap. Oh crap, it doesn't work if he has a block. Okay, okay. No worries, we're just gonna, you're just gonna get out the way. Just gonna get out the way, sir. No need for the shoddy. No need for the shoddy to go off. Okay. I got a big block. May have to do that. After I hit this dude upside the head. Now move us closer. I can't move diagonally, can you? Yeah, yeah. I think only slip you can move diagonally. Let's go ahead and add a big block. Oh. Oh, the shoddy pushes back us pushes us back too? Ooh. Okay. 
Let's see what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and get out this corner though. We need to do that. Then we're about to give this dude a headache. Mmm. Can't see the wall there, but it's there. He has a major headache after that joint. Hit him with a jab. Long strike. And then finish him off with a front kick. Drop that shiv. Yeah, Barney. Let's see. I can go ahead and drop a counter. Yeah, let's drop a counter. We'll hammer fist this dude. Block counter. Yep. This is how I planned that joint. And then we need to get out the way. So let's go ahead and slip. Do you face us? He does not face us. Okay. So let's go ahead and slip. And then push him into the target, into the wall. Weaken his armor a little bit. Okay. I can throw this Barney. I could just front kick him. Oh, I keep forgetting his retaliation attack. Get out of here. Knock your helmet off. Gonna dash. And then we'll throw this dude. I was gonna throw a Zulu dart at him. Let's go ahead and do a little damage. Actually, we ain't doing no damage because he has armor. And let's see. Quick strike. Can't head smash. Guess we'll just shift behind him. Nothing I can do. Head smash would have been nice right there. Alright, we can go ahead and finish him with the combo finisher. Mmm, that's slow mo. That's what's up. Uh, yeah, we definitely wasn't finished yet in seven turns. It probably took me the longest out of anybody who played this game to complete that. But I like to take my time. But let's go ahead and get an upgraded car and see what they got. Ooh, a palm strike? Deals 10 damage, gain 3 plus damage modifier at the start of next turn. Ooh, shove. Push one target tile to the left or the right of the current position. Deals 6 damage. Iron body at 40 block. Deal four damage to yourself. Ooh. I wouldn't mind having another push card, but a palm strike would be fire. We can add another card that uses combo so we won't have to worry about the momentum. And gives a plus three damage modifier. I think we should go with a push. Let's go with shove. All right, but I think this would be a good place to stop. Uh, we got through a couple areas in this in this section and in the next part we'll probably go ahead and finish it we'll go ahead and hopefully get to another shower block i don't know what the heck is going on with all these showers they don't need all these showers and also get to that courtyard because i'm ready to cross over some barneys and bring some equals but i definitely appreciate you for watching this part be sure to come back for the next part i'm having a lot of fun this game is awesome and i can't wait to see more crazy enemies we have to fight more crazy cards and hopefully I don't be making no rookie mistakes. Our health is looking really low. Hopefully we hit this event and maybe there'll be something that will give us some health or something, you know. But we'll see. Uh, the next medical is all the way towards the end. So hopefully we'll be able to survive. But again, thank you for watching and take care.